Welcome to Trade Pro. I'm testing the classic MACD strategy a hundred times in a row, but this time on a five minute time frame. I've done it on the 30 minute five separate times using different risk reward ratios, but a bunch of people wanted to see it done on the five minute time frame. I'm going to do the two stage take profit, so I'm going to quickly go over the strategy and how I'm doing the take profit. Then I'll get the uh, 100 test taken care of and go over all the results at the end. I will say I don't think it's going to perform as well, so don't expect much just because on the five minute there's a lot of uh, market noise and chop. So I think there will be a lot of false signals that are going to lead to poor results compared to the 30 minute. So here's the simple strategy. Well, we have the MACD, we have the 200 EMA, and a stop loss indicator. I'll show you the stop loss indicator right now. Um, right here, trailing stop loss multiple of ATR by Blue Phantom. I have it on default settings. And then the R or MACD, not RSI, um, I have on default settings 12, 26, and 9. So what you're looking for is the trend direction with the 200 EMA. So you can only take long signals when price is above the 200 EMA. You can only take short signals when price is below the 200 EMA. And the actual signal is given by the MACD. So a long signal is when there's a cross up on the MACD that happens below the zero line of the histogram. So right here we get that cross up and it happens below the zero line of the histogram. So that's a buy signal. The opposite for a sell signal, so a cross down that happens above the zero line of the histogram and prices under the 200 EMA. Okay, so that is the simple strategy. And here, let me show you how I'm going to be doing the test with this two stage take profit. So we get a buy signal right here, prices above the 200 EMA, get a cross up, happens below the zero line. And we set that stop loss to the stop loss indicator and target one times the risk for the first profit target. So once that first target is hit on this candle here, then you move the stop to break even and target two times risk. Okay. So this one is a winner. Both targets are hit. So on most brokers, you're going to have to enter actually two positions. One will be the one to one where you're going to put half of your risk. So 0.5% of your account risk on that first position that's targeting one to one. And then you're going to open a second position that's targeting one to two. So two times your risk. And you're also going to be risking 0.5% of your account on that position. So I haven't really mentioned this in the videos, but most brokers are going to have you do it that way. Um, cause you can't close out your position in those two stages. Um, otherwise on most brokers. So, just thought I'd mention that in this video. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the 100 test. If you want to see more about this strategy, more explanation on it, um, you can watch some of the other videos. There's a bunch on, on YouTube and not only on my channel. So um, just look up uh, Trading Rush for his MACD strategy um, explanation and pointers on it. And, you know, he talks a lot about the uh, different things you can do to improve it as well. So I don't want to um, take away from the Trading Rush um, channel. So check out his channel. Um, and because since that's where the strategy um, originated, as far as I can tell. Um, all right. So let's get into the 100 tests.
All right, the results are in after the 100 back test using the classic MACD strategy on a five minute time frame, and they are horrible. Negative 2.5% on the account. This just goes to show don't take random strategies online and apply them to any time frame you want and start trading them. You need to do your proper testing or you're going to get destroyed. So this did much worse than I thought it would. I was thinking, okay, it's the five minute time frame. It's probably going to have a lot more market noise, not going to perform as well, probably 10 to 20% gain on account. That's what I went in thinking. So this did a lot worse than I thought it would. Um, and I already thought it wasn't going to do very well. So just goes to show you need to be careful. You need to optimize. You need to do your testing. Okay. So let this be a lesson. Let's go and break down the results here. So on the five minute chart using that two stage take profit, Euro USD, it took 35 days of price data to find those hundred signals. So about one sixth as many, uh, as that 30 minute test. So it makes sense because the five minute is one sixth of 30 minute. Um, so 47 winners, 53 losses. The most lost in a row was five and the most won in a row was also five. And obviously gain on the account, negative 2.5%. Um, let's break it down a little more. So the one to one target only was hit 20 times. So this is where it hits the one to one target and then gets stopped out. So you gain 0.5% on your account each time, so times 20 is plus 10% on the account. The times where both the first target and the one to two target was hit, 27, so 1.5% times 27, 40.5% gain. So total, you're gaining about 50.5% from the wins, and then the outright losses was 53, so negative 1%, assuming you're risking 1% per trade, times 53 is negative 53% on your account, so net loss 2.5%. Um, this doesn't include fees and spreads, so you're going to be quite a bit much worse off um, with fees and spread. So let's... Uh, put this up on the spreadsheet. I think you guys already know where it falls on the spreadsheet. Uh, one of the worst tests that I've done so far. Um, again, this is a good lesson for those of you who want to just take any strategy and throw them on any time frame without doing any optimization or your own testing. Don't do it. All right, so here it is on the spreadsheet. Falling at spot number 40 out of 42. Just absolutely horrible. Um, you know, if you want to be trading the classic MACD strategy, take a look at the 30 minute time frame instead, as I have five tests all done on the 30 minute where the results were all good. So you, it's safe to say that trading it on the 30 minute chart is probably going to be better than the five minute. So look to the 30 if you're wanting to optimize the classic MACD strategy and actually eventually trade it on a live account. Um, I wouldn't bother too much with the five minute time frame as there's a lot of better options out there for five minute time frame strategies as shown here, 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 um, here, here. So take a look at those ones first before trying to optimize the one that got negative 2.5. Um, it's just not worth your time and you could be spending your time optimizing something that's inherently better. Okay, so that's it. Let's wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope that you enjoyed the video, even though the results are not good. But sometimes, you know, these videos are important as well to teach people a lesson about not just hopping in on any time frame with any strategy they see online and starting to trade on a live account. Um, you're going to get destroyed. So be safe out there, guys.